Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash tales from tech support. In today's episode. How a production server got rebooted, twice in the middle of the day. User can't divide. Did I say that out loud? Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. How a production server got rebooted twice in the middle of the day. This is a tale of the day a major production server rebooted twice without notice or warning. A couple years ago, I worked for a company that developed accounting software. I was responsible for administering our SaaS infrastructure. Because our SaaS infrastructure was actually managed by an MSP, I did more babysitting of the MSP than actually administering servers. The characters in this story. Dullarmi Ardvark, a sysadmin growing increasingly frustrated at the incompetence of our MSP. Dollar boss, my boss who does his best to provide me with support, but ultimately answers to the bean counters. Dollar support tech timid customer support engineer who handles customer calls and triages alerts. Nice guy, but is always afraid to bother me. Dollar MSP monkey one first of our monkeys at MSP. Dollar MSP monkey two second of our monkeys at MSP. Dollar MSP rep our account rep at MSP. Dollar database server a single point of failure server that everyone's afraid to touch. This story starts when I'm in the middle of writing an automation script to help improve the time it takes to onboard a new customer on our SaaS platform. I then get an IM. Dollar Supper Tech Hey, Ardvark, I hate to bug you. Are you busy? Dollar me yes. Can I chat with you later? Dollar Support Tech OK. I'm really focused and don't want to divert my attention, so I respond with the truth, I'm busy. A few minutes later my boss walks up to my desk. Dollar Boss Hey Ardvark, do you have any idea about what's wrong? Dollar me something's wrong? Dollar boss yeah, dollar support tech says he was letting you know we're having a problem with dollar database server. Dollar me osh asterisk t, really? He sent me an IM asking me if I was busy. I didn't know he was trying to talk to me about dollar database server. Dollar boss can you please drop what you're doing and take a look at it? Dollar me of course. I then open my IM window with dollar support tech and start chatting with him again. Dollar me hey, were you needing to talk to me about dollar database server? Dollar support tech yeah, we keep getting calls from customers that everything is down and we're getting alerts about dollar database server. Dollar me okay, I'll take a look at it. Dollar me by the way, thank you for being appreciative of my time, but you're more than welcome to interrupt me about alerts with dollar database server. We're all aware how fragile that artifact is. Now the troubleshooting begins. First things first, let's log into the server and check that the database service is running. Dollar SSH Ardvark at Dollar Database Server. Last login from Ardvark at Dollar Database Server, Dollar Service Status. Is running. Okay, the service is running, that's great. We also have a script that checks for basic configurations and other things known to break the database. Let's run that. Ardvark at dollar database server, dollar sudo slash op slash automation slash underscore checks dot sh. Underscore checks dot sh version 1.13. Checking integrity of database, okay. Checking all processes are responding, okay. Checking network connectivity, okay. Checking firewall rules, okay. Checking date of last backup, three hours ago, okay. Checking for outdated packages, warning. Found 32 outdated packages. Consider updating system packages. See underscore checks dot log for a list of packages needing update. Five checks passed in one warning. See underscore checks dot log for more details. Well, that looks okay. There are some outdated packages, but that's fine. We haven't ran updates on the server in a couple months and MSP regularly pulls down new packages in their managed repository. 
I'll make a quick note to schedule this server for patching. I open my IM window again. Dollar me hey, dollar database server looks fine. Can you confirm for me that customers are able to connect? Dollar support tech yeah. Everything started working again shortly after you last IM'd me. What happened? Dollar me no clue. I'm going to take some time and look. Back to the server. Aardvark at dollar database server, dollar last WN10. Aardvark PTS slash one less than 15 minutes ago still logged in. Dollar MSP monkey one PTS slash zero less than 20 minutes ago, 0008. Reboot system boot less than 25 minutes ago. Dollar MSP monkey one PTS slash zero less than 40 minutes ago, 0015. And so on. Ha, huh, that's odd. It certainly looks like dollar MSP monkey one rebooted this database server. To my email I go. 2. Support at MSP. CC, dollar MSP rep, dollar boss. Subject, reboot of dollar database server at by dollar MSP monkey one. Dollar MSP. Based on system logs, dollar database server was rebooted at. Can you please let me know why this server was rebooted? Please respond ASAP. Dollar database server is critical to production, and we can't have it being rebooted in the middle of the day like this. Thanks. Ashamed Ardvark. I then pick up my phone and call dollar MSP rep. If I want a response in anything less than their SLA of five days, dollar MSP rep has to escalate it for me. Dollar MSP rep, hey Ardvark. How are things? I'm guessing you're calling about the email you just sent. Dollar me, yes, I am. Dollar MSP rep, oh man, that looks awful. I'm so sorry, dollar database server was rebooted. Dollar me, thanks for your concern. Can you have someone from your team investigate this ASAP? Dollar MSP rep, absolutely. I'll escalate this and get dollar MSP monkey 2 to look at it right away. Dollar me, that would be great. Dollar MSP rep, oh hey. Since I have you on the phone, I wanted to talk to you about that we're offering all of our customers, have you had a chance to look at the pricing I sent over to you last week? Dollar me nope, and I don't care right now. Dollar boss is looking at it. Please let me know what dollar MSP monkey 2 finds out. Bye. Sigh up. I send a quick email to dollar boss and dollar support tech with what I found letting them know that $MSP rep will escalate the ticket I opened with them. I put my headphones on and get back to my automation script. Everything's going great until a few minutes later, when my IM window starts flashing. Dollar support tech hey Ardvark, sorry to bother you. Something's wrong with dollar database server again. We're getting lots of alerts and calls. Dollar me what? No way. Facepalm. Let's hop on the server and see. Dollar SSH Ardvark at Dollar Database Server. SSH, connect to host Dollar Database Server port 22, connection refused. That's not cool at all. Just as I'm about to pick up my phone to call the MSP support desk, I get a call from the area code of our MSP. Dollar me, this is Ardvark. Dollar MSP Monkey 2, yeah, hey Ardvark. This dollar MSP monkey 2 from MSP. I'm so sorry, but I think something just happened with dollar database server. Dollar me okay. What do you mean? Dollar MSP monkey 2 so, I was talking with dollar MSP monkey 1, and he said he didn't reboot it. So I logged in to see if I could see who rebooted it. I typed reboot, and then the machine rebooted. Dollar me can you repeat that, you typed, reboot? Dollar MSP Monkey 2 well, yeah, Dollar MSP Monkey 1 said you can see who rebooted a server by typing reboot. Dollar me your f asterisk 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 ing kidding me? Dollar MSP Monkey 2 and, well, I think reboot actually just reboots the server. Dollar me yes, that's exactly what it does. Is it back now? 
Simultaneously, Dollar Support Tech IMs and says it's back up and running. Dollar MSP Monkey 2 Yeah, it looks fine. Dollar Me Please Don't Attempt to Log In to Dollar Database Server Again. I'll conduct my own investigation into the first reboot. Dollar MSP Monkey 2 Again, I'm so sorry it happened. Is there anything else I can do for you? Dollar Me Nope. Bye. Sigh up. I walk into Dollar Boss's office and tell him the story. We both simultaneously facepalm and have a good laugh over this and start talking about what we're going to tell our customers. Afterwards, I go back to my desk to continue working on my automation script. Later that day, I get a new ticket notification from MSP that looks like this. Subject, Scheduled Maintenance for All Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 Servers Dear Customer we at MSP have identified a configuration in our systems that can lead to accidental reboots of servers. The default configuration for RHEL6 is to immediately reboot a server when Control plus Alt plus DEL are pressed at the console. Technicians have inadvertently rebooted servers by logging into VM consoles, seeing a blank screen, and sending the Control plus Alt plus DEL keystroke to the console. On a Windows server, this would show a login prompt but will reboot a RHEL6 server in the default configuration. This change has already been applied to your Linux servers however, it will not take effect until a reboot has occurred. We have scheduled this to occur during. Please contact $MS Peer App for more information. I take a minute to read it, and then everything clicks together. User can't divide wants me to write a program to divide a dollar amount into thirds and post to three gallons accounts. I responded okay. What about the remainder? User tells me that there will be no remainder. Everything will always divide neatly into thirds. In hindsight, I should have just written the program and allocated any leftover pennies somewhere. However, by now it was too late. The user had to prove me wrong. She escalated this to our mutual boss and brought up a spreadsheet on the screen to prove that dividing by three will never have rounding issues. I pointed to the screen. You see that those three resulting numbers do not add up to equal the original number. Of course, she was only displaying two decimals and Excel was rounding. She looked like a total idiot and was my mortal enemy until the day she retired. Did I say that out loud? Short but not sweet. I'm the IT coordinator for a police department and have to deal with some large personalities. Some are fun. Some are not so fun. This one time we had an issue with the DVR that all of the cameras in the department were connected to. The board that half of the cameras connect to had gone out. The person that deals with the system knew and had a call into support and a part had been ordered, but this was an older system and there was a bit of a lead time. During command staff meeting, lieutenants end up and civilian supervisors, the issue was brought up about the cameras in the DUI processing room being out. I informed them that we were aware and that it would be fixed as soon as we had received the part. One of the lieutenants who always seems to have something to complain about pipes up. Well, it's an officer safety issue and it needs to be taken care of ASAP. Without thinking I said, well, I can't pull one out of my asterisk s. As I looked across the table at everyone looking at me, the chief, with a half smile says, well, we don't expect you to do that. Now, I couldn't see LT complaints a lot from where I was sitting due to a pillar, but apparently his head snapped around towards me and his eyes got huge. Needless to say, I was not his favorite person after that but luckily he did something stupid and had the choice to be demoted or fired and chose to work the desk at the court building until his retirement, so I didn't see much of him after that. I will say that I got a number of high fives and fist bumps from the other people in that meeting. I guess he wasn't their favorite person either. <laughs>